Have you ever been named Global Fleet Manager? Here are a few things you should be paying attention to. First thing is gathering data. Uh, I just sat in a CEO conference uh, where all the, the seven CEOs of the large FMCs are sitting there. And the first 20 minutes was just based on technology and data gathering. Uh, they need to understand the baseline of where they are. And that in, entails not only the cost of their fleet, um, but it, it entails who, who has the rights to the, the vehicles, policy, uh, HR relationships, um, how they're going to interact, and the various products around the world. There are numerous products from both financing and maintenance available in certain countries that are not available in other countries. There may be countries where uh, outsourcing to a fleet management company is the right answer, and other countries where it's just not economic uh, for the company to, uh, to go into that, that form of uh, uh, financing. So it's important for them to, to learn as much as they can. The, the other truly important item is understanding their own culture. There are certain multinational companies that we work with that a single global fleet manager needs to make sure that they have the authority of decisions and that the, the people outside of the home office need to abide by those decisions. So an email from a, a global fleet manager in the United States, if it hits the wrong desk in another country, they'll just ignore it. Likewise, from Europe to Asia, Asia to Africa, Africa to Latin America, they need to make sure that they have the authority that when they institute the policies, that the field offices need to abide by those policies.